Episode 1 The children approach the hut of Yo-Yo and find him sleeping by the fireside. Yo-Yo's lethargic slumber inside the hut contrasts with the children's active singing and playing outside in the snow. At a decisive point that emerges later, Kinoshita uses Yo-Yo's present laziness to articulate his vulnerability as a naive, weak-hearted, ineffectual absent-minded and gullible man of easy options who can be overrun by daydreaming, greed and peer pressure. The children are shouting, Tsuyang! Tsuyang! In Japanese, they use Yang after her name as Tsu is a familiar person to them. If a relationship with them is formal, they are obliged to use sang as the suffix to her name. Tsu's intimacy with them is clear in their repeated invitations to join them in the singing and playing. In fact, they are regular visitors of Yo-Yo's hut because Tsu's offered to play with them. This awakens Yo-Yo from his sleep. Hello, what are you doing here? In this question, he does not sound very happy about their visit at that moment. The children still continue to sing their invitation in unison. Yo-Yo, clueless as to where his wife Sue has vanished into, knows only that she is not to be seen. The children express their di disappointment about her absence. Whatever shall we do? They are desperate to find her. Yo-Yo seems to have been irritated by their insistence that they must see her. How do I know? He gets up from his bed and nervously grouches 
when they go on shouting in a chorus, be quiet, you are making too much noise. The children have fun out of his anger and sing their remarks about his mood as well. Jojo proves his tender-hearted and innocent demeanor by bursting into laughter in reaction to the children's pandemonium in his living room. He offers to play with the children in an obligation to his wife Sue, who usually entertains them as uh, friends. The children become excited by his offer to join them. Jojo's naivete becomes clear in his effort to control the children. Without any original ideas of his own, he vacillates to the propositions the children make. When they want to play Ningara, he agrees to it. When they want to do singing, he agrees to it also. Thus he passes all possible games in their repertoire, such as snowball fights, Kagome Kagome, and Run Sheep Run. Finally, while he is about to pursue the children in a game of Run Sheep Run, he suddenly remembers that he has to heed the soup as he is accustomed to the idea that cold soup is not good for his wife. He leaves the children and returns home to put the kettle on fire. This implies that although he is a rather slack character, he is concerned about his wife's welfare in his simple way.